The Water Resources Development Act looks like it may pass in Congress yet this year. However, it may take a new approach for funding. In fact, a vote on word is expected in the next few weeks. We're very, very, very close to a long-term strategy to deal with our infrastructure issues. As a result, the Soy Transportation Coalition just released a study recommending a move away from solely government funding. Think about public-private partnerships. This is a, a, a part of the word of bill that unless it gets knocked out in the next two weeks, it should be in there. The study also suggests maintenance of existing locks and dams, as one new lock construction project at $377 million is equal to nine rehabilitation projects. But when you have one project taking up the entire Inland Waterway Trust Fund, there's a problem. Davis says 80% of the products that go down the Mississippi River to export markets are grain and coal. So this is an issue that impacts much of the U.S. economy. I'm Michelle Rook reporting. This Heartland Consumer Report is sponsored by Minnesota Soybean Farmers and their Soybean Checkoff.